If you are an online merchant or even uh, if you own a brick and mortar operation, you really want to uh, accept international payments from time to time. So in today's conversation, I want to uh, explain to you how to accept international payments. So here's a guide you want to really think about. First of all, I want to explain to you what an international payment really is. Because when we are speaking about accepting or rejecting, for that matter, international payments, you got to really know what it is. So an international payment is actually um, any payment made from uh, one country to another. So if you are in the state and somebody actually uh, is paying you from France or Germany, for that matter, this is an international payment. And also, uh, if somebody is paying you from Canada, is also an international payment. And this transaction requires additional processes and support because uh, of varying conversion rates and regulations in every country. So essentially, an international payment is a business transaction between a buyer and a seller that crosses national borders. And this transaction typically involves at least two unique currencies that can, involve, can actually involve several depending on the type of goods or services involved. So when you think about international payments, you have to think about uh, a set of possibilities, okay? So you, to, you, you are able to enable international payments on the accounting software that you are using from QuickBooks to a FreshBooks to Wave to a Zoho Books, okay? And you are also able to enable international payments on PayPal for that matter. So to enable uh, international payments on your PayPal account, log in and click the summary link, navigate to the currencies link in the money section, click the uh, add currencies button and follow the prompts to add the currencies of your choice. You can add, uh, you can add uh, as many as uh, 25 currencies. Also, you can receive uh, money from abroad directly to your bank account. Yes, I mean, money sent from another country uh, can be deposited directly into your bank account via an international wire transfer, okay? And you must supply the center with your bank data, including your complete name, bank account number, sort code, and IBAN, and actually SWIFT quotes. So the uh, ABA number doesn't work internationally. And uh, so now you, you can receive money internationally without a bank account. You can use a payment gateway instead of a local bank account such as PayPal or Venmo for international transfers. And without a digital wallet, the, uh, the only other way to uh, send money internationally without using uh, a bank account is a money order. And the money orders uh, act as a cash set of cash transfers and can be exchanged for cash value once received. So this is, uh, this is really good to think about it. So how do you accept international payments uh, this year? Now, there are several ways to accept international payments from clients based overseas. And to accept international payments, you will need to choose the payment option that works best for your company. But one thing for sure, before we I even uh, explain to you what's, uh, what's about the international payments acceptance uh, process, you have to make sure the country you are, you are transacting with is actually uh, a uh, quote unquote an, an approved country because the Department of State actually has, uh, from time to time, they have a, a set of countries that are actually uh, prohibited. So you do not want to have a, a business transaction with a country that has uh, that's currently under section under some sanctions. So let me first talk to you about uh, online payments because factors like conversion fees, processing fees, and processing times are important to consider when choosing your preferred method. And so. I want to first talk to, you, talk to you about online payments. So you can accept online payments from uh, international clients through uh, various online service providers, including uh, PayPal, Stripe, Wise, and Amazon payments. Okay. And so when you think about uh, online payments, you have a set of possibilities, but also a set of uh, pluses, a set of uh, advantages. You have the ease of use, you have quick processing times, and you have strong security. So when I speak about ease of use, Basically, most of the online payment services are simple to navigate and require just your basic banking details to begin processing payments. And you also have quick processing times. So most international online payment services boast quick processing times. Often the money will land in your account within just a few days. It's usually two to three business days. And you also have strong security. So with heavy security and, and, and encryption for every international transfer, Online payments are one of the most secure methods for accepting payments from uh, overseas. Now, of course, there are actually uh, certain drawbacks when you are thinking about uh, online payments because you have a uh, limited availability. You have chargebacks, so there's a possibility 
for a chargeback and you have also transaction fees. So in terms of limited availability, online payment services are not available in all countries. So you want to actually do your research and make sure that your preferred provider offers its services in the country where your client is based. Because otherwise, you'll be wasting a lot of cash, okay? Or actually foregoing revenue. And you also think about chargebacks. So accepting a credit card as a form of payment always carries the risk of a chargeback if the client disputes uh, the charges. And you also have transaction fees. So online payment services. Transaction, I mean, they do charge transaction fees for using uh, their services. So the cost per transaction usually ranges from 2 to 5%. So compared with uh, other options, those fees can be rather convenient. If you are thinking about uh, receiving money from international clients this year, you can also uh, try to uh, think about letters of credit. So a letter of credit is actually an official document that is issued by one bank and sent to a second bank that's based in the foreign country. So for instance, in the States, you can have a uh, Citibank issuing one letter from uh, one letter that actually guarantees the payment and sends this uh, this to, uh, let's say, uh, BMO, uh, BMO Harris in Canada. OK, so that's kind of cool because uh, the letter of credit guarantees a person will make a payment for a certain amount by a certain date. And uh, the Export Import Bank of the United States offers uh, more details about how letters of credit are used for international payments. But this is actually a pretty uh, prominent, especially if you are dealing with uh, with uh, customers that are in a country uh, whose currency uh, is a little uh, it's, it's a little it's a little fragile. Okay, so letters of credit have uh, many advantages, including you have low risk and you have secure payment. What, why low risk? Because your payment is guaranteed by the client's bank. So if there is a problem, the bank is responsible for sending you the money owed. So the bank, the issuing bank has to make sure that uh, their customer has enough money in their account to actually uh, cover the, uh, the letter of credit. You also, have a, you also have a secure payment. So a letter of credit involves the payment transferred between two banking institutions. So it is actually a secure form of payment, really. And uh, so, but you also have some disadvantages when you think about letters of credit. You have some uh, limitations because you are subject to fees and also uh, payment can expire. So the fee uh, suggestion is really important because banks tend to charge high transaction fees for letters of credit. And also you have payment, payment expiration. So a letter of credit will include a specific timeline for the bank's payment guarantee. So it's important that the payment requirements are fulfilled before the letter expires. And if the letter, the letter expires and uh, you haven't received payments, this could be a little problematic, but this is not the bank's problem. This is actually, this at this point, this will be a problem. So if you are thinking about receiving money from international clients and you have a letter of credit, make sure you pay attention to the loan amount. You pay attention to the bank. So what kind of institution we're talking about, the reputation of the, of the institution, but also the expiration date of the letter of credit. Let me talk to you about uh, if you want to receive money from international clients, you might want to think about inter an international money order. This is also another possibility. Okay. And so an international money order is actually a document that looks uh, similar to a check. So it's kind of a very similar. The only difference is that the, the payee and the payor, the, pay, the, the payer and the payee are kind of different. And money orders are a, pre a prepaid uh, payment option. So your customer will need to pay upfront for a money order with using cash or a credit card. So you are pretty sure that you, you that the money is already safe anyway, right? You just need to to a cash to cash it, and so that's kind of cool. So when you think about receiving money uh, from in, from in, from an international clients through international money orders, you have some pluses but also some minuses. On the plus side, you have low cost and you have payment upfront. So when I speak about low cost, money orders are cheap to purchase and you will not be charged any processing fees really. And you also have payment upfront because you are guaranteed that your client has the money to cover the invoice amount because they pay up front for the money order. And what, what about the minuses? What about the drawbacks when it comes to uh, using international money orders? Well, you have long processing times and you also have 
also in some cases uh, a tool that's been used for scams. So when I speak about long processing times, money orders can take several days to arrive at their destination and it can take up to what, 10 days for your bank to process the money, the money orders. So, which is really crazy, but, but hey, listen, it is what it is. So the money is already there. The customer has paid the, the money, but the, but the bank is really taking uh, time and they're just doing some uh, extra stuff, whatever, quote unquote, to actually hold your money. But hey, listen, it is what it is. And because money orders are easy to buy and difficult to trace, they are often used in scams. So if you accept money orders, be sure to watch for red flags that could point to a scam. It's best to accept money orders from clients you know and trust. Okay, don't expect, don't accept money orders from uh, from third from uh, foreign third parties, folks. You have no idea who they are. If you are trying to receive money from in international clients, you might want to think about international wire transfers. And uh, this is kind of cool because uh, this gives you an extra layer of uh, capability, if you will. Okay. And so international wire transfers are a common overseas payment method. So that's kind of cool. And uh, at top of international money transfer, a wire transfer is actually an, an electronic exchange of money between uh, two bank accounts using a network like Swift, for instance. Okay. And, uh, and uh, the, the uh, quintessential elements here is uh, speed. So when you think about wire transfers, you have uh, advantages such as a fast processing time and also a high security. So fast processing time in the, in the sense that when a client sends you money through a wire transfer, the funds will usually be available in your bank account almost immediately. And in some cases, it might take up to three days, but you know you, you are getting the money anyway. You just have to uh, confirm with... Uh, your bank's back office to make sure the money is there and it also you have a high security in other words because the transactions are made directly between two banking institutions wire transfers are actually a secure payment method for international transfers what about the disadvantages here when you think about uh, receiving money from international clients and uh, you you want to receive money through uh, wire transfers well they are expensive and they're not easily traceable so in terms of uh, expensiveness, in terms of a uh, high affordability, banks actually, uh, I mean, low affordability, by the way, banks charge high fees, sometimes as much as $60 per transaction for international wire transfers, which is a lot when you think about it. It's a lot of cash there. And it's not, those transfers are not easily traceable. Wire transfers are not easy to trace, so they can be uh, difficult to uh, settle it can be really difficult to settle any payment disputes that might arise between you and a client, especially if the client is in a third, in a third party country. That's not really, uh, you know, like so, some countries are sort of uh, difficult to deal with, difficult, quote unquote, because uh, you have a uh, more, uh, you have less strict banking regulations. And you also, also, you also have uh, some elements of, uh, of uh, like opaqueness. So transparency is not really a, uh, the maximum is not really maximum there. So when you are thinking receiving when when you are thinking about receiving money from international clients, you may have to think about also a payment gateways. So you have a, a set of payment gateways to accept international payments. So using a gateway is actually another way to process international payments. And the cool thing is you have flexibility there. You also have a variety. There are many options available, all with varying perks and advantages, and gateways can be integrated with uh, e-commerce softwares, making uh, accepting international payments an easy transaction for you and the customer. So that's kind of cool because it allows you uh, as a user to process credit card payments, manage transfer fees, and keep track of any uh, foreign currency. So now keep in mind though that third-party gateways that you choose has to be fully PCI compliant to keep your transactions secure. So here are some of the best gateways available. You have QuickBooks, you have Wave, you have a FreshBook, FreshBooks payments. Okay. So basically when you think about QuickBooks, Wave and FreshBooks payments, those are the best gateways uh, to accept international payments. And uh, so this is kind of cool. And you are able to accept online payments nationally and internationally. You get paid uh, easily, quickly and securely through a uh, one centralized account 
And the cool thing is there are no hidden or monthly fees for 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 those. And uh, you can also easily turn uh, online payments on and off with each invoice for a customized payment systems. So you are able to accept payments in foreign currencies from over 200 countries uh, directly on invoices. So this is kind of cool. You have PayPal, for instance. Well, PayPal is a popular payment gateway worldwide. So uh, they operate in, in around 200 countries and have support for over 100 individual currencies to process payments. So with Express, Checkout, Mobile Card Reader and uh, Credit Card Reader, also uh, as well as barcode scanning, bill me letter and other many other features, PayPal remains a convenient choice. So your existing PayPal account can have international capabilities added and PayPal is also a PCI compliant, making your international transactions safe and reliable. So that's kind of cool. And the thing is that, is that if you are trying to increase your chances of uh, receiving your cash real fast, you have to you have to be able to uh, enable uh, all those uh, authorization on on your account. But one thing for sure, watch watch out for the uh, the uh, the usual elements of scam because once you are thinking about receiving money from international clients, you are going to be scrutinized big time. I mean, uh, especially if you are in the states, you have all kinds of uh, AML laws, anti money laundering laws that are going to be applicable to uh, to the uh, transaction. So. Make sure that you're looking, you're, you're watching out for it. scam, uh, scam, uh, scam possibilities. When you think about actually payment gateways to accept international payments this year, you can think about Stripe. You can think about Authorize.net. You can also think about WorldPay. So this is an important element. So Stripe is actually a cloud-based payment method. That it provides a range of APIs. APIs stand for Application Programming Interface. So through the API, you are able to, uh, as a merchant, you are able to have a full control to integrate new payment options. And the, the Stripe Payment Gateway is, is actually ideal for startups and SMBs who want to scale at a at a later stage of growth. And the Stripe offers a robust security and fraud prevention measures that actually help you uh, prevent disruption. To global sales and stripe actually supports over 135 currencies and features a custom ui toolkit cons consolidated checkout mobile interface recurring payments and 24 7 technical support what about authorize that now let's talk about authorize.net authorize.net is actually a great option for a small business such as yours if you if you are if you have a small business of course and uh what you will love with authorize.net is that you have a longevity uh, a longevity uh, feature here and you have a, a proven a proven uh, record and uh, so and this is actually good because it makes you uh, feel comfortable and secure in all your transactions and authorize that net has a, a robust infrastructure and advanced fraud protection measures so its international uh, payment gateway can accept payments from major card providers all around the world it also has a fully integrated account updater you know, electronic check processing to make payments processing more flexible so that's kind of cool you also have a uh, world pay so if you deal with foreign currency frequently world pays international payment gateway provides innovative solutions for large enterprises b2b and b2c and uh, this is kind of cool because it also gives you uh, the freedom to uh, have the the right infrastructure for small and medium businesses as, as well so world pay is actually good for small business Big business, medium business, okay. It has access to 125 to 150 foreign currencies and can process payments in 146 countries. It offers flexible integration options like hosted pay pages and uh, integrated payment pages. So this is really good. So overall, one thing I want I want you to really take away from uh, today's conversation is that if your business sells products or services to international clients and you often receive international payments, it's actually vital to learn how to accept international payments okay and so finding the right combination of international money transfer uh, practices processing me methods gateways and support is actually the best way to set yourself up for success and continue scaling your business here and abroad so this is kind of cool so here's an epilogue here when you think about receiving money from international clients in today's conversation i give you a full guide and uh I spoke to you about 
how to accept international payments through online payments, letters of credit, international money, uh, money orders, international wire transfers. And also shared with you some payment gateways to accept international payments. So from QuickBooks, Wave, FreshBooks payments, all the way to PayPal, Stripe, Authorize.net, and WellPay. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.